Hello everyone. We will continue the topic how to write that data to a file on pre on application server or how to move that data to a file on application server how to transfer data to a file on application server and we choose the al11 directory slash tmp suppose in this particular directory the file name will be order suppose in this particular directory the file name will be order order.txt suppose in this particular directory our name of the file will be order.txt now i will just increase the length because this is now more than 10 characters so i'll just make it as 20 suppose so there should not be any confusion so i'll just give the meaning full name suppose i'm saying lv underscore file name so that you can understand this is our full file name or full file name or full file path i'll just check the syntax so in this particular directory slash tmp our file will store with the name order.txt now we will go for a common understanding if you want to write that data to a file what you are doing suppose I want to write the data to a file. So firstly, I will open the file. You can see I open this notepad file. I will write the data to the file after opening the file. Then you are closing the file. Same thing we have to do here also. Firstly, we will open this particular file. We will transfer that data to the file and then we will close the file. Same, same way we have to do. Now we will use the various commands and few commands we will use in this particular example. Now we have a statement open data set to open the specified file. So firstly, we will open this particular file. To write the data to a file, firstly, you should open the file. So how to open the file? We will go for a syntax. The syntax is open data set. Now, what is your name of the file which you want to open? It is lv underscore file name. Now, now the next important point we want to write the data to this file. We want to transfer the data to this file. If you want to write the data to the file, you should use the keyword for output. Why I am putting so much stress? Because in the future, we will read data also. At that time, we will use for input. Here, you want to write the data to the file. You want to transfer the data to the file. So you are opening into output mode. This particular file you are opening into output mode so that you can write the data to this file. Now we will go for text file. So I will write in text mode and we will go for encoding default. Now we will not go into too much detail. What is the meaning of encoding default? Just we'll go for simple understanding. Suppose you are writing some data into a file and you are saving that file. While saving is the same to same format which system is storing? No, it will store into some other format. Whenever you are opening the file again, Whatever we can understand, that will be visible to us. So saving is always different from the display. That's why we are saying we are going for encoding default, encoding, decoding. So we have encoded also, we have decoded also. So we are just going for encoding default. There's no need to go into detail. 
just we are going for encoding default so that it will save into encoded format whatever is there now if our file successfully opened now if our su file successfully opened how we can check if size sub rc equal to zero if this file successfully opened that size sub rc will be zero why we are checking for size sub rc because it might be the case you are passing a wrong directory path in that case you are giving a wrong path so this statement will give you size sub rc other than zero if file is not opened how you can write the data to that particular file so after opening the file you should check for size sub rc now our file is opened our file opened now we will transfer that data one by one to that particular file so your data is into which internal table lt underscore data so i will put a loop onto this internal table loop at internal table into work area for every loop there is a end loop now we will transfer the records one by one to this particular file so how to do that firstly i will concatenate the values i am saying concatenate what is your first column order number what is your second column order date what is your third column payment mode what is the fourth column your total amount into suppose i am writing lv underscore string i will declare lv underscore string lv underscore string suppose i am saying type string so your all values are going into this lv underscore string but yes we need to go for separator means what will be the separator between the columns so i'll simply go for separator separated by suppose i am going for hash you can use any separator it's your wish so your record one by one is going to work area you are concatenating into lv underscore string it means this particular lv underscore string has your all the values your order number order date payment mode total amount and there will be a separator hash now this value we will transfer it to our file so how to transfer now we have a command you can see transfer transfer means to write a record to the file we will use the transfer transfer lv underscore string to what is your file name lv underscore file so one by one loop will continue yes it will transfer the records to our file now we will simply simply go for now whenever you are all data transferred yes you should close the file now to close the file we have the statement close data set now what is your file name lv underscore file now for every if there is a end if now you can see in this particular thing itself we learned three lwa underscore data hyphen payment so in this particular thing itself lwa data total amount okay so total amount is your uh, amount type so it is not able to concatenate so i'll just take a local variable for the same suppose i am saying lv underscore amount and type c 
So we will write our amount. Write total amount to LV underscore amount. Because concatenate works for characters. Yes, it is not working for your amount. So we are just writing our amount, writing your total amount to one character variable and we will use that. I'll check the syntax and activate. Just we did the type casting, our your amount, your amount, whatever the total amount is there, it is of CURR type. So we are unable to concatenate. So what we did, we took one local variable of character type. We write our amount to that local variable, which is of character type. And we used that. Now we will see how this logic is working. So in this logic itself, you have so many learnings how to open a file, open data set. If you want to transfer that data or write that data to a file, you have to use for output. You have to use the text mode because you are going for text file. You are going for encoding default. To transfer that data, we use the keyword transfer. To close the file, we use the keyword close data set. Now we will see in the debugging mode how it is working so that you can go for full understanding how one by one the data is writing to our application server. So I will just put a breakpoint and we will see in the debugging mode. I will go for order number one to five. So we have this order number we have five records into this internal table. Now we'll firstly go for open data set statement. And this is our full path. So firstly, it will open this particular path. It will open this particular file. I'm going for F6. You can see size sub RC0. It means our file is successfully opened. Now we'll go for execute. You can see we have this first record moved into work area. First record moved into work area. Now we are writing the amount to the local variable. Yes, we are concatenating all these things. Your order number, your order date, your payment mode, your total amount and you are going to LV underscore string. Now you can see each and everything concatenated into LV underscore string. You can see we have all four things concatenated into LV underscore string and there is a separator hash. There is a separator hash. Now we are transferring our record to the file. So first record transferred, Similarly, second record will transfer. Similarly, third record will transfer. Similarly, fourth record will transfer. And similarly, fifth record will transfer. Now, all data has been written to the file. Now, we are closing the file name. It is compulsory that once your data transferred, please, please close the file. Otherwise, what will happen next time? your file will be open as it is. Now I will go for execute. Now to verify the result, we will go to AL11 transaction code. We will go for our, this temp directory. You can filter on to last change, set filter, because today we put the file. So this today is 11th. Now you can see we have a file in the stem. What is the name of the file? Order.txt. If I'm opening the file, you can see we have five records into the file. Order number, pay order date, payment mode, amount, everything is there. 
So this is the way how you can write that data to a file on application server. And these all are project examples. Every day, whatever the data is there, we need to put into AL11 directories and they will take that particular file. So in this video, what is our learning? We learned so many things. How to open a file using open data set how to close a file using close data set, how to transfer that data to a file using transfer statements. So this is our first topic, how to write data to a application server directory. In the next video, we will see how to read data from an application server directory. So that's it in this video. Thank you.